Hello beautiful people, I am here in my car as you can tell and I'm doing a get ready with me which is really weird because I'm in my car and not my apartment but I have no type of privacy in my apartment. Not really any here now but it's okay. So we're gonna be doing my makeup. I already washed my face and put on Jurgen's lotion and everything. Here's like a tow truck but we're gonna get started. So I brought everything in my car which is really weird. But we're gonna make it work. Um, so I have a few new products um, since the last time I did a video, which was a long time ago because I don't make videos anymore. So it kind of sucks. All right, so I prime my face. Um, I didn't prime my face, I washed it. And I put this Dragon's Lotion. You can't really see, it's too bright, there we go. I put this in my face because during the winter my face was like really dry and it needed some help. So now I'm using this Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. It's a purple top. And I'm just gonna prime my face. Um, but first let me use this hand wipe because I've been touching a lot of stuff since I got outside. And I just touched my face, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, basically guys, what I've been doing is going to school. I'm going to work. Um, this quarter is almost over. Like since the last time you saw my video, that was when I was about to come back to school, and now I'm back, and it's almost over. I have one month left, which is awesome. So I'm really excited um, about it being over because then I can go home for the summer. I was gonna do like summer classes, but uh, I need a summer off because like I've been working a lot and it's been really stressful, and yeah, I just want to be home. And like enjoy my time with my family and I'm actually changing my major to um, well I'm changing it to psychology and so I was gonna take um, the prereq class to change my major during the summer but it's only offered at this school and I don't want to be here for the summer because that means like paying for my apartment and stuff because I wanted to rent it out so what I think I'm gonna do is just go home and not do it because paying it for an apartment for like two extra months when you don't get financial aid during those summer sessions and you are you like you already have to pay for the schooling so to pay for my apartment too is a no-no so i'm not gonna do that so I put my primer on and the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use i think this is mary Kay. it's a blush i just got because my grandmother like used to sell it and then she just had a lot of it left and I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild brush. It is a contour brush. Looks like this. Uh, I used to use this. Let me see if I have it. I used to use this brush for my blush. It's a Elf uh, something brush. I can't read it. And I used to use it for my blush and it would just give me a line. Like, I'm not a makeup guru. Like, I barely know how to put on my own makeup, but I thought making videos were fun. But then I would look back at my old videos and just like, girl, what are you doing? Um, but I have this hand mirror. Here, I'm gonna use I think ever since I've been using this brush for my blush, it looks a lot better. And I think it's funny that I'm not going anywhere today. I'm just gonna be doing my homework. I'm like falling off the seat trying to film this because it's awkward angle. Um but I'm not going anywhere today, so this is the makeup I usually wear to school, by the way, and out. Like, I don't change my makeup really, but it's a lot less than I used to use. I think. Oh, I forgot my lipstick. I'm gonna have to go back, but. Somebody's walking their dog. All right. I like how the blush shows way more on camera than it does in real life. All right, so I'm gonna wipe some of it off just because it's a little much. And um, yeah, so I'm excited to go home. I miss my family a lot. I'm missing out on so many birthdays and like graduations and stuff, it sucks. And my family's like really sad too. I always used to do this, like wipe off the excess. Cause it could be kind of bright.
All right, so that's that. Um, I didn't tell you guys, but I got the Etude House Tint My Brows, and like the first time I used it, it was fine, but the second time I used it, I don't know if I did something differently, but it like turned green on the sides and it looked like really bushy and it was not cute. But this is what my eyebrows look like. They're getting long. I actually need to do them. Um, I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills medium to tan contour kit and a e.l.f. professional foundation brush just to use this highlight. It's hit pan a long time ago, but there's still so much more left, so I'm gonna use it. Um, it was funny because I don't like gold blushes and when I got this kit I never used it because I don't contour and the blush or the uh, highlight was like gold and I'm used to like the white one so I didn't like it but then I started wearing it like every day and now it's cool um but dude I know like a lot of people use like the exclamation point they go like this and then just go like that but like just bring it all the way down your nose like why not get that glow that shine that shimmery color can you tell i'm putting on makeup um the wrong way but yeah so i did my eyebrows i need to do them again like today because it lasted seven days last time i did it so i did it on like a friday and it worked for seven days and it looked really good and i had just like did my eyebrows too i um tweezed them and like shape them and everything so they finally look good but now i have to do it again because it's like growing back and it's looking crazy so we're gonna do that tonight so no big deal um but the next thing i do for my eyebrows i don't like fill them in or anything i just get some jergens lotion and i like wipe it over my eyebrows and on my forehead because the stay matte primer has like a white finish like if you're using a sunscreen so I just don't want that on my face. So I just put some lotion just to hold my eyebrows down and to get rid of that white cast. And then I'm gonna find um, this brush that I use for my eyebrows. Um, I use these. It's a sample brush from like a makeup, what is it, like a stand or something? Like these little messy brushes. And I just, I like to bring up the front of my eyebrow and lay down the rest but this eyebrow right here is like the worst it looks so bad right now but we're gonna go with it and then like when i bring up this part i like to like put it down according to like how it was brought up does that make sense i feel like it doesn't it was like lotion on my hand um so i like bring it up and then like go to the top of it and like scoot it down so it's not just sticking up but it's also not like crazy I don't know all right so the eyebrows are done like this routine is so much easier I remember having to wake up so early just to um, do my makeup like two hours earlier before my class just to do my makeup and it was ridiculous um, but now I'm using um, a foundation just like right here and here because I have dark roots on my face and like pores and everything so it always looks like I have a five o'clock shadow I've been so self-conscious of that like for so long but yeah I'm finally sharing it um yeah so I never wear like a full face and foundation like ever um but I just use it here because it looks weird and I used to get made fun of all the time like a little kid like I had a mustache but it was literally just like dark roots or if I did have like hair it wasn't that much but it looked like dark i don't know anyway so i just got this two faced born this way um foundation in maple and i'm really disappointed because i usually buy um the lancome tint i delay 24 hour makeup but like it's 60 dollars. it's 54 but like i don't know how much it is with tax but i'm just saying 60 like around an estimate and that worked really good it stayed on really well and i did a tester for this and it looked like my color and everything but it's not a medium to full coverage like it says it's like really sheer and it kind of looks orange and it kind of like sucks but this was 42 dollars i think i ended up paying like 43 altogether um but i'm gonna put this on my face and then i'm gonna use this um sponge that i got from my mom it's pink it's dirty i just use it for this purpose only and it gets the job done so i'm just gonna pump it on my hand a little bit 
and put it here. Like, see how orange that is? I never see it in real light, but this is literally orange. Do you see that? Ugh. Okay, and then what I do with the little sponge is like I have a bottle of water so I can like wet it. Because you're not supposed to use like sponges to dry because it won't do anything. So I'm just gonna wet it on like this bag so don't wet everything. All right, and I'm squeezing it out. Like this is so hard to do in like a backseat of a car, but we're making it work. And what I also do is like I squeeze it in a paper towel so it's not like soaking wet. And then I'm just dabbing it on my face. I feel like I'm getting better at makeup, but it's still not like my shell on or like any beauty gurus. It feels like basic. Oh my god, I hate when foundation gets on my lips. It's the worst. Like, it's not cute. <laughs> like, I always have to wipe it off. Okay. I wish you guys can see, like, the actual color of everything right now. Alright. That's what it looks like. And then I also like to wet it again. Just when I'm about to be done using it. Just so it's not super like dirty, I guess. All right. So now that we're done with that, we're gonna go in with mascara. Um, I've been using Better Than Sex mascara for like a year or two now, and I'm so disappointed because the last time I bought it, let me uh, remind you. Um, let me remind you, Better Than Sex is twenty four dollars, and I needed to work. And it doesn't. Um, the last one I bought, which was this one, um, it was clumpy. And the other one I had wasn't clumpy. It gave me like spider lashes, which I really liked. But this one's clumpy. And then I ended up with the last one I had putting um, contact solution in it so it can like be less clumpy. And I put the old wand into here so it had that still on it. So my eyelashes have been looking a little better. But yeah, just better than sex. I don't get the waterproof one just because this is kind of waterproof for me. And I don't want that staying on forever because I already don't take off my mascara. So we're just not going to... Oh, wow. I've never done that before. That's a new low. But yeah, just like today's Saturday, May 6th, 7th. I meant to look at the date before I started this video, but... Last night, I was doing so much laundry um, and cleaning my room because it was terrible. Like, once you get in the habit of just, like, getting dressed and going to school every day, like, you have so many clothes everywhere, or, like, you do laundry and you just throw your clothes everywhere instead of hanging it, or, like, folding it and stuff. Like, that was me, and my room was, like, disgusting, or, well, my room is disgusting, but my side of the room especially. <laughs> well, I have a roommate, too, just to let you know, but... My side was so bad. I had like my, um, I have a hanger for my clothes. Not a hanger, like, um, that you hang in the closet. It's like a, a clothes hanger. Like I hang up my clothes on it so it can dry because I don't like, um, drying certain clothes. And it was taking up a lot of space and I had clothes everywhere and like it was bad and papers. So I've spent, from 9 p.m. yesterday to like 2 a.m. today doing laundry. I washed all my bedding, all my clothes. I redid, you know, made my bed, which sucks because it's a bunk bed or it's a lofted bed. So I have to go all the way on the top and like do it. But I got everything done. It looks so good. And I kind of like started packing because I'm moving into my new apartment in September, supposedly. I thought it was August, but supposedly it's in September. And I want to move out by June because that's when I'm out of school and go home <laughs> and then just move into my new apartment and I hope for this apartment um, I get my own room because there's only three of us right now going into a two-bedroom and I want them to like get the bigger room I guess this time and then I get the other room by myself because we're paying a lot less than we are right now for the next apartment so I'm like hoping that I get it to myself because that would be really cool to have my own room. I can finally have some. 
get my own privacy because like at my house everyone has their own room and then we have like two or a living room and a dining room no a living room and a family room so even if someone's in the living room somebody else can be in the family room or everyone's in their own room so we're like we get to choose if we want to be around people but like at my apartment now it's just like you're either around people all the time or you get out the apartment because the two other girls in the other room um they do back and forth like someone going in the living room and someone staying in their room like staying in their room so they can get like privacy from each other but it's just like there's two other girls in the house like what are we supposed to do so i'm usually not even home because i don't get any privacy because my roommate's always in the room too like either sleeping or doing homework like always in there anytime i'm home she's there so it's just like ugh, i can't do anything like especially like film like that sucks like YouTube is a big part of my life. Or it was, I mean, I don't really go on it that much anymore just because I don't have privacy to film. And like, I've been thinking about doing this video for a little bit, but I was like, in my car, like, do I really want to do that? By the way, I'm a mess when it comes to mascara. Like, that's just how it is. I don't know when this started, but it did. And it's really bad if you can see my face right now, like, Raccoon or not? But what I do is I take a little Q-tip, a little bit of my Jergens lotion, and I like swirl it on my finger. It's like totally irrelevant, but and then I just clean it up. But yeah, so I hope I get my own bedroom. That'll be really awesome. Then I can bring my TV in there because right now it's in the living room and I don't have a TV in my room. I don't know why I did that. But, like, that's also why I don't like my room, because I don't have my TV in there. And I don't want to just, like, be rude and, like, take it and put it in my room. So. I usually just use, like, Netflix on my phone. <coughs> or on my tab. Excuse me. Um, and just do that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm excited for, like, fall, because... I no longer have to take hard science classes like chemistry and O chemistry and all, all these math classes that are irrelevant to my life. Like I hate math, I hate science, um, but actually biology is pretty cool. I'm in biology now and it is really interesting, but it's still like not nah, rap. <laughs> I'd still rather not take it. I'd rather take like psych classes which is really fun. Like my plan right now is change my major by fall and be a psych major. Graduate with that and either find a job right away or go and get like a vet tech degree or a certificate I mean and then go to be a sign language interpreter because that's what I wanted to be for a while. So I just have like a lot of plans. Like I do not want to go to vet school. I do not want to go to vet, uh, graduate school. Like that's not on my radar. I want to be out of school already. Like I've been in school far too long. Especially this school. I just feel like I'm over this town. There's nothing to do. Even now that I have a car, everything's far. <laughs> it's like, oh, everything's far. I wish I had a car. And then you get a car and it's like, it's still far. Like that's a long drive. Like I went to this, um, I finally hung out with my roommate, like my actual roommate, not housemate, and we went to this amusement park, and I was like, oh yeah, this will be so much fun, like I never go anywhere, but it was two hours away, and that does not sound like a lot, but it was so far, and at one point I just got tired, but by the end of the day, I remembered why I don't go to amusement parks, and that is because my head literally slams against the sides of the seats, and I had like the biggest migraine. And after like four hours, I was done. And like, I say four hours, but it really was after like five rides. But it was still four hours, cause like the lines got long. But we got there right before it opened. So like the first ride we went on had no line. And we like went right to the front, but then right after that ride ended, that park was filled. It was crazy. And I was like, I'm not about this line in life. Like we were spoiled with being able to like ride the first ride without a line. And then after that, I was like, yeah, this hour long line for this ride is not worth it. 
and we just went home. We we're like, yeah, we're ready for a nap. <laughs> like true old people. Like, <laughs> I'm ready to go home and take a nap. Like, forget this amusement park. Um, and then, because my lips have foundation on them, I just lick this Q-tip and then wipe them because I'm putting on matte lipstick and I don't want it to ruin the shade or anything. But I forgot my lipstick in the house, so I'm gonna have to like run to the house and run back and show you guys the full look. So I will be back. Okay guys, so all this time there's been so many people driving by my car and I saw when I was coming back that like my windows are super dark, like nobody can see me. They can probably hear me though because my sunroof and my window are open, but um, okay. So the first thing I do before I do my matte lipstick is I put on Burt's Bees. Um, you can't see it, but it's the, ew, it's the Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm and it's in vitamin E and peppermint or with vitamin E and peppermint. And I just moisturize my lips because matte lipstick is really drying. I know um, it actually gets more matte. It kind of looks better when your lips are dry, but if you have matte lipstick on all day and your lips don't have any kind of moisture underneath, your lips are gonna, gonna be cracked and just disgusting <laughs> by the end of the day. So um, I'm using the ColourPop in Tool. Um, what I don't like about the packaging is like I just got this maybe two weeks ago and the name is not on there anymore. Like it's already rubbed off. I'm just like, mm. But uh, this is the only color pop I have right now. All the other ones from like last year and stuff dried out or they're just in colors I don't wear anymore like green or something. I'm not that daring this year. Um, but I'm looking into getting Kylie Jenner's brown sugar um, because it's supposed to be a nude color for brown tones. It's supposed to be a nude color for people of brown skin. But it's like $29. I'm just like, haha. <laughs> This was six. All right, let me do this before it dries out. I can zoom in for you guys. <laughs> this is like really stressful when I started doing this again. Like I just started wearing this a couple weeks ago. Like uh, matte lipstick, I've been wearing regular lipstick. And like it's hard like trying to align your lips with it. because it like dries so quickly. But I've been getting better. All right, sorry it's like silent, but I need to focus. Um, I bought this on my binge that I had when I started making money for work. I just needed like spending money. Sorry, I have like a pimple or something. Um, when I started getting spending money, I kind of went crazy and like bought all these dresses, bought, um, what else did I buy? I bought this, I bought a gift for my boyfriend. I bought the perfect sculpt bra that just came in the mail after a month. I'm so upset. Like I mainly bought clothes and I can't remember what else, but it was like a bench. Oh, like stuff from pink, like underwear and stuff. Like I bought so much, cause they had a sale. So I did that. And it was pretty crazy. I was, I was going a little wild. <laughs> All right, so this is Tool. Um, it doesn't really look matte because I have like chapstick underneath, but if you want, you can like dab your mouth and then It'll be matte, or you can, I think there's a trick where you can um, put a paper towel over your mouth and like put powder or something. I don't know, it was something weird I saw a while ago, but this is how I look on an everyday basis. Literally, this is verbatim what I do. I wear this lipstick every day, and I always wear a fish towel. I just, because um, I learned how to do a fish towel, like kinda, I did it one time. Uh, my freshman year and then now I've been doing it like every day it's so simple and it keeps my hair out on my face like especially when I'm at work I have to put my hair in a bun and if I'm sweaty my bun's gonna come out like either super puffy or super like nasty and then I just wrap this up take it down and even when it's messy it looks really cute and it's kind of easy now doing it in the morning 
Like I used to be so challenged, I could not do any braids, but now I'm like better. All right, so let me show you guys the whole look. Gotta get freaking, oh, this is so bad. Okay, hi. We can fix the lighting too if you want. Don't mind my eyebrows, they're not even like where they should be right now. But yeah, if you guys compare, no, okay, sorry. <laughs> if you guys compare my makeup routine now um, to like, I don't know when the last time I posted a makeup routine or like get ready with me or anything, but I think it's like I don't wear eyeliner anymore or eyeshadow. I never wear eyeshadow. I feel like eyeshadow makes me look weird and also a full face of makeup. Like I feel like I look better without any foundation. Oh, not makeup, like foundation. Like full face foundation looks weird on me. And I don't know how to contour yet. I was thinking this weekend of like trying out contouring and see how it works because once then my face um but you guys can tell if you look at my old videos my face used to be so chubby and now it's like it's like cut it's like i've lost so much weight i look back at old pictures and stuff and i'm just like girl jesus christ but yeah this is my makeup routine i think i'm kind of getting my way of looking okay i need to do my eyebrows because they're a little sparse, like <laughs> ever since I've been starting stressing out over like school and stuff, they've been getting really thin. But I hope you guys can see, I'll try to take a picture and post it of what I look like, but this is me every day, literally. Um, and my little choker, I love, I love. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I really wanted to make it, that's why I came in my car to do it on a day when I'm just doing homework and like putting up clothes, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, getting to talk to you guys and share a little bit of my life right now with you because I haven't been on here since I was at home and even then I only made like two videos for how long was how long was I there a month I was there for a month yeah for winter break I was there for a month and I only made two videos and that was like literally back to back um, I think it was like even the same day too or like the next day but oh yeah and if you guys haven't seen my tattoo my second one um, this is my first one hold on <sighs> That's the first one. And then my second one, I tried to show, but like I couldn't get my leg up and I don't think I can now, but. <sighs> all right guys, so my card ended up getting full, but um, this is the makeup once again, if you guys can see at all. Um, I can try to bring the brightness down. This is how I look. Um, yeah, that was my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, yeah, I might make a vlog after this, maybe. I kind of talked a lot about what's going on. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder. I'm just making sure that it's up because this camera's heavy and I don't have a tripod. Um, but yeah, I might make a vlog after this. Who knows? Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.